I just got back from one of the most unforgettable trips of my life, Nepal on Action 8 cycle. Last year, I went on a trip with Action 8 Italia to document violence against women in India. That trip changed everything for me. I think it's safe to say that Action 8 changed my life. This year's trip has been different though. We travel with 16 of the supporters, people that came from different parts of Italy, each of them sponsors a child in different countries, including Nepal. And together we visited the project Action 8 has in Kathmandu, meeting the local community supported also thanks to their child sponsorship program. It's the first day of work here in uh, Nepal with Action Aid. This morning we went to the office and met with the local staff. Welcome to Nepal. So basically we're traveling with a group of uh, Italian people who are sponsoring a child. They don't know it yet, uh, but they're about to have a surprise and um, they're gonna have them Skyping with the, some of the children they're sponsoring. Right now. Timmy Lake was also Yes, and you study English is important. The emotion in their eyes and their voices is incredible. We all get emotional watching them watching the screen. I'm here to tell the story. They're here to live it. Some of them came to look for answers, some to get rid of doubts, some to understand a little more. But whatever reason pushed them to make this trip, they're all here to contribute to change a tiny piece of future. Later, the local staff explains to us the current condition of Nepal. They tell us that after the earthquake that killed almost 9,000 people and destroyed almost 600,000 buildings, the reconstruction is proceeding slowly. But things have definitely improved since 2015, and Nepal is ready to leave the story behind to tell new ones. New stories like the one about these women. We are in one of Action Aid's women-friendly spaces. In the center, women of the community can meet to discuss their problems and support each other. And instead of being forced to stay at home, they're starting to have their own businesses that allow them to become financially independent and to fight domestic violence. Over the following days, we leave Kathmandu's dusty roads behind, the supporters roll up their sleeves, and they start working on the reconstruction of the Bani Bila school in the village of Chapagam. This is one of Action Aid's project and they're rebuilding it. And the um, supporters that came on the strip of Action Aid are gonna help with the reconstruction for the next few days.
The week flies by. During the day we visit the projects and at night we all got together in Tamal. And among bricks and between a gorka and a sharp beer, new friendships are formed, existing ties get stronger, and thoughts and emotions are exchanged till late at night on the hotel balcony. Once they're done working, we visit other projects. There's a nursery that allows family to leave their children there so that mothers can go to work. And then the Shreya. Shreya was pregnant during the earthquake. Thanks to Action Aid support, she survived the collapse of her house. Now she's fine, she has two children, and the house has been reconstructed. Look at me, right. There's also time to visit the city. Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal. It has 1.4 million people. In Nepal, 80% of the people are Hindus, 10% Buddhist, 4% Muslim, and the city is full of beautiful temples. It's Sunday, which means football. To end this experience, we are gonna, well, they are going to play a football game. Italy Nepal, the supporters against the girls of the Fusion Football Club of Manohar, a project started by Action Aid to fight gender stereotypes, where they organize football matches open especially to young girls and lower classes kids. The girls kick their ass 7 3. In the afternoon, there's a moment that no one saw coming and shifts everyone's perception. We find ourselves in the slums. I've been in the slums before, the first time in Bhopal with Action Aid. And though now I'm quite used to it, it's never a light experience. For some reason, urban poverty is harder to digest than rural poverty for me. Tiny shacks made of sheet metal, open air sewer, omnipresent decomposing trash. You feel small and impotent in front of it, frustrated, even angry. But the moment we arrive in the community, everything changes. We're surrounded by smiles, hugs, handshakes, laughter. In front of us, we find the same girls we just played soccer with in the morning. And we're all surprised because no one would have ever guessed they lived here when we saw them at the field. The guys of the community prepared a show for us. There's who sings, who dances, who acts, and among all the music, the dances, more hugs, and eyes that speak the same language, the supporter find their answers. They get rid of their doubts and they understand a little more. Namaste. Thank you. Reality looks very different when seen in person instead than through a screen. In times where NGOs are stigmatized and constantly under attack, it has become more and more common to look with suspicion to those who just want to help to make this world a little better. But just by looking into these kids' eyes, you can see the importance of the support given to them and how impactful the work down here really is. Suddenly, the last day comes, and with it, the moment of saying goodbye. They are going back to their lives in Italy and I'm staying to tell more stories. 
Our minds, hearts and souls are full of feelings, emotions, moments, images and words. Too many to process now. It would take days, weeks, maybe months to really understand what happened. These kind of trips are the most fulfilling ones. They'll stay with you forever. They'll throw life at you and a perception of it you couldn't find in many other ways. These trips change you. Today is the last day of work here in Kathmandu with Action Aid. It has been an intense week, but beautiful, so full of emotions. I love to see how happy the people who travel with us were. And when, when, I don't know, it's beautiful to see this sort of humanity among people. On the Action Aid's office terrace, we have one last chat. There are many tears flowing. I look at the supporters and I envy those tears because those tears come only from living a story and I know I'll always want to tell those stories instead. But maybe you can leave those stories through a lens or a pen too because I have their same tears of joy and nostalgia right now while writing these words knowing I had the opportunity to be there for this beautiful experience that has been an important life lesson but above anything else a lesson of humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you Action Aid for this wonderful experience. I always love traveling with you and uh, to the next adventure.